Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GameTube, and welcome back to our community character concept series. So in today's video, the community character we're looking into is Nightmare Lester the Wizard. So we're going to jump into this character's design process and take you through all the steps on how we made it as well. And also a big thank you to all the community that got together and shared their ideas and voted in our latest live stream. If you'd like to join in on one of our live streams and share your ideas and hopefully get your character made in one of these videos, then do be sure to tune in every second Sunday, 10.30am Australian Eastern Standard Time. Alrighty, well with that all out of the way, let's get designing the community character Lester the Lizard. So recently, we hosted another one of our community character concept live streams. The community got together and suggested some really awesome original characters. This time the community had the choice to add characters from Eva, Poppy Playtime, Garden of Bam Bam, and Five Nights at Freddy's. There were so many great ideas that all of you suggested in the live chat, but in the end, only 25 characters made it onto the board. And the names of these characters were a chess character, Gassy Gasman, the creature, Galita Witch, Toto and Loki, Peyton Platypus, Marvin Monkey, Felix Fly, Alex Antelope, Nightmare Lester, Greedy Granny, Camera Eye, Harvey Hedgehog, Buzzy Bill, Belle Bookworm, Carla Caterpillar, Mermaid, Charlie Pufferfish, Stella Stingray, Cotton Candy, Terry Tiger, Quizzy Busy, The Entertainer, Gary Garbage Truck, and Sammy Sawfish. And with the help of our community, and thanks to your voting, we eventually got a winner. And that winner was Nightmare Lester Lizard. <coughs> this idea was from one of our GameTube members, WarioWare Fan. We all thought this was a great idea, and we were so excited when it won. So, for those who aren't familiar with this character, Lester the Lizard is actually the very first FNAF character that we ever created. He's probably one of our most popular characters, and in a sense, he was almost like our Freddy Fazbear of our FNAF character concept series. He even made a special comeback in one of our later chapters, and also his face appears on the Jungle Pizzeria logo as a neat little easter egg at the end of our last chapter. So, I think designing a nightmare version of Lester the Lizard is a great idea. And it's very fitting that it's our first character as well. So now, let's jump into the design process for Nightmare Lester Lizard. So in preparation for designing this character, I looked into all the Nightmare animatronics from FNAF 4. I looked at Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. All of these characters have really awesome design, and the Nightmare aesthetic is probably my favourite of all. But the character that I took most inspiration from was Nightmare Fredbear. The idea of the split stomach forming a creepy looking mouth really stood out to me. So that's where I started for the design. So I took the regular torso of Lester's and split it in half. I drew a very jagged and ripped split straight across. Alrighty, now that the body is in two parts, let's get into some of the finer details. So in all the Nightmare designs, we see this common pattern of a ripped and cracked suit showing the metal underneath. So I made a grey metal layer underneath and started taking away some of the outer material. Once that was done, I added some extra grime and dirt as well. Since all the Nightmare versions are heavily withered, a lot of extra details will be added to this character. Next I finished off the final grime and dirt details and then added the fun stuff. So I included an endospine to still connect the two halves, and then I added top and bottom teeth to the torso. Keeping with the nightmare look, I also added multiple cracks and empty spaces all over the body. I coloured them all in, and then I decided to cut off the outer cracks in the body. Alright, now it's time to move on to the arms. So I took the regular Lester arms and started ripping them at both ends and added the cracks. I then finished them off with some dirt and grime at each end. Okay, moving on to the hands. So with the hands, I tore off the material from each claw and designed a skinny sharp metal claw poking out of each socket. For the legs, the design process was pretty similar to the arms. I tore them at each end and just added extra weathering. I removed the material from the feet entirely and just left the bare endo feet underneath. Alrighty, now it's time to move on to the head. So for the head, I really wanted to extend Lester's jaw and make it as open as possible. I withered the insides of the jaws and added classic nightmare teeth. For the eye, I designed an eyeball that was more in the same style as the other nightmare characters. 
And for the spines on Lester's head, I made them giant metal spikes and made it look like they were breaking through his head. And lastly, for the tail, I just added some extra weathering and added some smaller metal spikes as well. Alrighty, so here is our final design for Nightmare Lester. I personally think the design came out pretty good, and is quite close to what I'd imagine a Nightmare version of Lester the Lizard would look like. But I'd love to hear what you, the community, think of this character design as well. Did we nail the design? Let us know in the comments down below. And something else you can let us know down in the comments is the backstory for Nightmare Lester. Since this is a community effort, I'd love to read what interesting backstories you can think up for this character. As for the gameplay of Nightmare Lester, I could totally imagine him being in the FNAF 4 bedroom. He'd be hiding around each corner, just waiting to get the player. The player's trusty flashlight would be their only defense against this nightmarish version of Lester. They would need to keep up with him and make sure to stop his attacks, because if they don't, then they'll be greeted with a classic FNAF jump scare. Well, maybe not so classic. I've read some comments in the past that mention we should animate our jump scares. Although this can be a lengthy process to animate them, especially to the extent that Scott Cawthon does, I don't see why we can't give it a try. So sit back, relax, and watch me try to animate a jump scare as best as I can. Okay, so with everything in place, it should look something like this. Okay, so that was the community character video for Nightmare Lester. I think this was a great suggestion, and I had so much fun designing this character. I can't wait to see what ideas you all have in our next livestream. But until then, I'll just have to wait and see. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribing, because it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, do be sure to let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of Nightmare Lester the Lizard, and also be sure to save up your ideas for the next live stream. And if you'd like to join these live streams, then all you have to do is tune in every second Sunday, 10.30am Australian Eastern Standard Times. This is where you can share your ideas, and hopefully your character can win. Alrighty everyone, welcome to the next community character video, I'll catch you later, bye.